the heating industry affects all of us. We all like being comfortable and warm. 20% of the emissions in Canada, between 7 and 10% of global emissions, come from being warm, having hot showers, all of the things that we rely on. Our heating systems are not optional. So the question is, how do we make it clean? CleanO2 is a company that's sole purpose is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the heating industry. I grew up in Okotoks, Alberta. My parents split up when I was quite young. I lived with my mom till I was about seven, and then I came to live with my dad. My dad was very innovative, very creative, and I think I got a lot of that from him. I'd always see him in the garage building things, this idea that you could make something and that people would use it. And that really stuck with me as I went through life. I worked as a commercial heating plumber overall. I think it was in the industry for just, just over 20 years. I stumbled on this article on carbon capture. The article was talking a lot about emissions from power generation, but there was no mention of the fact that everybody has these natural gas-fired heating appliances. 70% of the market share for heating appliances, certainly in Canada, are natural gas-fired heating appliances. So it was from that moment I started learning and trying to figure out, okay, here's a problem. Nobody seems to be working on it. It's pretty big, but maybe I can do something. Carbon capture is the act of reducing the amount of greenhouse gases entering our atmosphere and either sequestering them and placing them somewhere in storage or converting them into something, a consumer good for example. And that's the great thing about carbon is that carbon literally is in just about anything. A Carbon X unit is a modular device that processes the gas that come off of a heating appliance. You have a hot water tank, the natural gas turns on, we combust the gas, we create heat, we heat the water. The spent gas then travel through our system where we convert it into a different chemical and thereby capture the CO2. So I can say that on average, a single Carbon X unit will reduce between six to eight metric tons per year or the equivalent of 300 trees. The units are about the size of two refrigerators stacked back to back and they slide into a mechanic room, they get planted on the floor and then it's commissioned and away we go. And then in two weeks time, technician goes back because they're there for their preventative maintenance anyway. They do the collection of potassium carbonate. That pail that gets brought back to our facility here where then it's turned into all of these soap and detergent products. We never intended to be a soap manufacturer. We recognized that one of the things that we needed to do was engage the public. The interesting thing about the chemical that we were producing is that it was used in the soap and detergent industry. So we thought, well, let's make a few batches of soap so we have a tangible good that we can share with people. And it took off. We went from making a few batches in my kitchen with my wife to now having an entire factory floor that builds and makes cold process soaps. We're capturing carbon, we're converting it into consumer goods, and then the money that we generate from this chemical that we're producing, we rebate some of that back to our customers. The big vision for Clean O2 is a decarbonized heating industry, not minimal greenhouse gas emissions. We're pushing towards no greenhouse gas emissions. The cost to all of this is to sacrifice the time with my family. That's a tough sacrifice. One of the greatest joys that I have is being a dad. Love my son, love my wife. The hope is that we can help reduce emissions so that all of this will be worth something. And I do hope that there is some inspiration that I can generate. I want my son to see his dad trying so that he can try. He can grab the torch when I can't carry it anymore and go off to try to make the world a better place. I'm Jason Cardiff. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Clean O2 Carbon Capture Technologies. Thank <laughs> you.